the legend of Notch King of the Maasai Mara. The Notch Alliance in Kenya's Maasai Mara must have been the most fearsome coalition of lions to ever presided over its territory in recent memory. Forget about the Mapogo Coalition in the Kruger National Park in South Africa. The Notch Coalition was legend. There has never been anything like this amazing partnership. The most peculiar aspect was that it consisted of a father and his five sons. In the realm of lions, this was unheard of. The fact that the young lions killed their father just serves to emphasize how fearsome Notch was and how skilled he was at handling family issues. Who was Notch? Born in late 1999 or early 2000, Notch or Kali, Swahili for fierce, joined forces with Light Male, another young lion. By 2004, the two had gained enough self-assurance to take on the Marsh Pride Lions, who had become well-known thanks to the BBC's Big Cat Diaries TV series. They drove Simba and Blondie off their perch and took control of the pride for themselves. They slaughtered the cubs and then proceeded to have their own cubs with the lionesses. As is customary in the lion realm, three lions who had invaded the Marsh Prides area in the middle of 2005 killed Notch's lover. Light male. Notch was thought to be doomed, yet despite all chances, he managed to hold on to his territory by remaining close to the lionesses and maintaining a low profile. When Notch was finally driven out of the pride in 2007, there were eight cubs. Once more, it was prophesied that Notch wouldn't remain a nomad for very long. Yet he did the inconceivable. He joined his sons, five sub-adult male cubs, who had narrowly survived with their lives when their father was driven from the marsh pride. They were now savage nomads. Reign of Terror. For more than a year, Notch raised his sons, Notch II, Mighty Long, Ron, Caesar, and Grimace. Until they were completely grown. In the Mara in 2008, their reign of terror began when Notch was roughly nine years old. The coalition's ascent and hegemony are remembered by Jonathan Kahlo, a safari and photographic guide with more than 10 years of expertise in the Maasai Mara and the owner of Meekan Safaris. My guiding career started practically simultaneously with Notch and his sons creating one of the largest and most formidable coalitions ever witnessed in the Mara. It took courage and expertise for Notch, a clever and attractive black-maned lion, to create this intricate connection with his sons. For years, the six lions ruled the Mara, an area of more than 1,000 square kilometers, and they produced dozens of cubs in practically every pride in this region. Any visitor to the Mara during that time who did not see Notch and his sons went disappointed. They were famous, and I can still hear the six lions roaring at the same time. A few of my guests even tried to hide under the seats of the safari truck, recalls Kalo. By murdering and scaring lions that got in their way. They quickly gained complete authority in the Mara. They were in charge of a number of prides including Maji Yafi C, the Lookout Prides, Paradise, Mugoro, Serena, Rikero, Rikero Breakaway, Rongai, and Olkiombo. Notch and his boy's skill at hunting was brilliantly captured in the Disney film African Cats, which was released in 2010. Notch and Notch 2 entered Fang's area. A vicious and menacing looking lion with a canine protruding from his lips. Fang fled since he could not compete with the two. Yet the lionesses of the pride fought valiantly. The two notch boys left after failing to defeat them. Pride was preserved. Fang came back. But notch soon followed with Caesar, Ron, and Grimace in tow. The scenes in the movie where notch meets his sons and is moving into Fang's land as dusk falls are some of the most moving ones. As Samuel L. Jackson said in the narration, 
Together they are the most powerful force in the land. You could almost feel the strength, the hate, and the murderous intent of the Notch coalition. A few months later, additional more cubs were born, and Fang once more vanished. Never to be seen again. The Notch coalition was described as a tremendous force who were all astonishing males and damaging to other lion populations, by Niels Mogensen, a senior program scientist with the Mara Predator Conservation Program. Notch stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with his five sons despite being an ancient lion and having a unique relationship with them. Before his age caught up with him, he let the lads know that he was the dominant guy. Other sizable coalitions in the Mara de control a number of prides. But none were as infamous as the Notch Alliance, according to Niels. A single male lion is a fierce foe, but when there are five additional large, powerful male lions around, all of which are skilled in killing buffalo and hippopotamuses, mayhem is guaranteed. Although the precise number of lions they murdered during their nearly 10 year rule is unknown, it is thought to have been in the dozens. Beginning of the end, their rule was not entirely happy. With mighty long going missing in the Mara Triangle in 2010, it appeared that they had spread themselves out due to the enormous region they occupied. He was likely murdered by other male lions. Notch was near death by this time. When he passed away in 2013, he was older than 14. In the latter few years of his life, he had grown apart from his boys. Yet for sustenance and safety, he was never far from them. One of the last individuals to see Notch alive was Jonathan Kahlo. He was so malnourished and in such bad shape that we could tell he just had a few days to live. Over the years, his sons had done a fantastic job of keeping him alive. Even though he was frail, he still had his enormous black mane and was as stubborn and arrogant as ever. Only two members remained in the alliance after Notch and Grimace both died in hostile territory a few months later, but it remained strong nonetheless. Even though the territory controlled by Ron, Caesar, and Notch too had shrunk from its apex, they were still a threat to other lion coalitions. The Sand River Men, a group that was slowly solidifying into a powerful alliance. Killed Ron sometime in 2016. Caesar developed a hind leg limp and passed away in 2017. Notch too. The sole survivor, quietly and without much of a fight left his kingdom. Twist in the tail. Notch's son vanished and became a nomad in his former region. There were numerous reports of his demise in the Mara. Months later, Notch too made an unexpected return, this time accompanied by his dashingly attractive and ferocious son Spearboy. History kept happening the same way. Being his father's son, Notch too understood that he needed to work with his future son to boost his chances of survival because he was older than 14 years old. Just like his father had done more than 10 years before, remembers Jonathan Kahlo. The father and son team created the Lookout Pride and remained as a unit for more than a year. When Notch 2 vanished last year, and it is believed that the 15-year-old is dead. After the death of his father, Spearboy settled as a nomad in the Mara. The lifetime of Notch 2 even surpassed that of his father and it is hoped that the next generation of lions will be just as legendary as these two. Notch's legacy. The alliance never truly stayed with a pride. Instead roaming the Mara continually hunting for females to mate with and killing numerous cubs, many of which were their own, since they had a large number of children in the Mara with many prides. Many lions do today likely have the Notch genes. However, it is unclear whether this has led to any inbreeding. Niels Mogensen says, we just don't know. The Notch coalition has fallen, but the sons of the sons of Notch still control the Mara thanks to the Rikero coalition, 
which is made up of Caesar II, Ron II, Blue Eyes, and Dongo. They are strong, brutal, and have a history of killing their own cubs. Notch's grandsons are in charge of four massive prides. Notch and his sons rose to prominence as the most well-known lions in the world as a result of their extraordinary domination. This attracted a lot of attention, increasing the amount of visitors to the Mara and giving the African lion population decline. The attention it deserved. Could another lion alliance ever rival the Notch alliance in strength? I highly doubt it. Yet that deadly lion gang's legacy lives on to this day thanks to the multiple generations of offspring they created throughout the Mara during a decade of total power and carnage. Thanks for watching.